Why the wrong faces? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, I'll before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh, Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right? How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? There's a whole world out here. A world where we could live. So far, we only know one thing for sure. Radiation levels are nominal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So? Does anybody live out here? We don't know. How will they treat us? I don't know that either. What would they do if they found out there are survivors in Moscow? Again, I don't know. Keep looking, Artyom. There's got to be a scene. But we do know we've been lied to. For 20 years, we've been lied to. We know they've been killing people! Collateral damage is inevitable in operations of such scale and secrecy. Do you yes, people you have died, but the bombs... Attention. Wait a moment, what was that? Special Restoration Committee speaking what? from the Ark Project base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone... Listen, everyone! Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811-79. Alright. Area 1... Where is that number? 
number is supposed to be. Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is called. So it one, is somewhere eight, one, around one, one, here. Dash, the German seven, town of Mountain. So the route from one, here should eight, go dash, five, like this. Like this is our together. goal. Shall we so is this what you had in mind? Yes. This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground! Enormous stores, machines, the best experts! It is the Commander General's HQ! All of the country's leaders are there! They have already started the restoration work! We will tell them that Moscow is alive! It wasn't all for nothing! Everything will change! Everything! Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So, I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir! Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time! Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! Oh, come How on! How about Aurora? The Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better! <laughs> Not bad! I like it! Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? I'll tell you later! Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trick to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we hide around. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full I'll steam ahead. The, uh, we wow, found that, uh, that's some distance. Again. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because So, dear Moses, can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? Or not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. A weird feeling, eh, my friend? I remember you telling me how you took your mask off atop a stonkin' otar. When you honed those missiles in on the dark ones, was the air bitter then? Who knows, though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. Life is weird, huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. And you are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water. The link is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain. That's a mystery. That's what I often think about when facing a choice. You can't drop the chain either. You always have to drink from that bucket. Well. Bottoms up, I suppose. So, how does it feel to be the Moses who yanked on this particular chain? <laughs> Is it dumb to think about such things when all I ever did in life was carry out orders? Well, I'm not called it for nothing. Just so you know, scars attract the ladies. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. Artyom, a couple I don't of words. Read a lot, really. It's quality that matters. Artyom, what's done is done. Yes, I didn't stop you from going outside. Yes, I tried to talk you out of it. Yes, I didn't tell you you are not the only ones to survive. But even I didn't have the clearance. And not back then. This is a state secret, do you understand? I've been granted clearance only after our fight to protect the D6. They said they needed me to teach their recruits, because the war was still on. 
Don't you think I was shocked? What did our people in these six die for? What did I lose my legs for? But I understood. Because the war was still on. Security was paramount. Our people would have understood. So please, do the same. You would have beans to everyone in Metro. You're a goddamn Prometheus, a messiah. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember that jammer? What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I'm no deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Which means that we, like a runner that tripped, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. And don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? I hope I am. Anyway, at least now we know where to run. So, go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. Andrei Ivanovich, how long have you been working with those jammer people for? About a year, I guess. At first, they got me to sign up by singing of my experience helping people. Told me about weather stations and mutant migration observers. Hello, Zeratium. It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no ahead. We're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Well, hello there, Artyom. You people could have called me up there to drink to Aurora. I still think Beelzebub was a better name. <laughs> uh, by the way, did you come to trade places with me? Or did you just want some exercise? I heard that. Monotonous labor calms you. Well, it's no lie. I do feel this calm, you see. Idiot says it's dynamic meditation. I was proud to be helping those. That philosopher. Then, about two That's months ago, come here. they loaded a bunch of people. Hey, hey the on. Is there they any music on the outside? Air? And came back alone. Told me they took the people to a nearby station, but I knew it had came in years ago. Yeah, you found it. Thanks, RTO. The mood improved instantly. <laughs>
stopped the train, went and found those people. Soon they understood I saw that ravine. Fed me the usual lies about the spies and whatnot. Did you believe them? Well... After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll... Froze anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the brakes! Sound the alarm! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Artyom, you should probably get to the bridge! Are you alright, Artyom? Damn! They pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. Get there and find out what you can about that breach. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. Gotta check on that cylinder, but... A full day at least! I see. Get to it then! Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter! I'm on yes, the Duke, I need you to recon the immediate area. God damn it! Let's sir. go, Artyom! You give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir! Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. Wait, am I not trustworthy? Um, yeah, I don't tell you if it was the case. It's a new model. Oh, God, a portable right. workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there.
Sure thing. I gotta well, say, that's that was one flimsy on, roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out? That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. A rabbit! Artyom, there's a boat at the dock. Get over here when you're done. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Okay. 